Right, so we've already <coughs> uh, built our first page uh, utilizing the Bootstrap template. And now we're ready to actually get rid of some of this information and start building our page. So we're going to build a simple um, page with some elements. You can change things around, but I'm just going to show you some basic elements you can put onto the page um, to start building your website. So I'm going to remove this HTML, HTML tag. You can see now everything disappears. Right, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of a break there. And I'm going to go back into Bootstrap. So the first thing I'm going to need is a navigation bar. So like I said, all the elements are already pre-created. So I'll go into Components. I'm looking for a navigation bar. So we've got Navs and Navigation Bar. These are two se separate things. You might have navigation elements in the page. But generally, the nav bar is at the top of the page. This is a nav bar right here. So I'm going to click on Nav Bar. And then you can read through all this, of course, if you want to know how it works. Um, I won't be covering everything there. But you can see that there's a nice big nav bar here, which is all good. And this nav bar code represents this navigation bar here. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go back into my website and I'm going to go to this line here um, and paste it right there. Now you can see straight away that this is getting quite full. Uh, get looks kind of complex and it's important that you don't start deleting things um, if you don't know what you're doing of course because one line deleted accidentally will just mean everything will break so we need to um, try and avoid deleting any um, thing unnecessarily and make sure also when you copy and paste from the page you copy everything now you can see here a good indication of whether you've got everything if I click on nav down here it highlights to show that the nav starts and the nav ends and it's similar to all the tags the a starts the a ends the button starts the button ends the div starts here the div ends there so it's good to, um, to make sure everything starts and everything finishes so it wraps everything up nicely otherwise you'll find that things would just it won't appear on the screen correctly so with that in mind um, I'll quickly go through this nav bar so we've got the nav bar wrapper wrapper um, and we've got this a tag which is a which we know is a, <coughs> a link so this is a, a link and you can see inside of this link is going to be this text here called navbar so this is going to be our our um, logo at the moment it's just going to say navbar so I'm going to call this um, uh, website <coughs> so I've changed that to website. Now, if I wanted to, I could link back to the home page here if I wanted to. Um, at the moment, I'm not going to, but that's um, the simple um, logo. And then we've got a button here. So this button, I'll explain in a minute. Um, but let's just have a look at this to begin with. So I'm going to save this, go back, and we've got a nav bar. And you can see it now says website here. And that then obviously represents this bit here. Now, where's this button? Because I don't see any buttons here. So what does that refer to? Well, that button there is actually, if I move in um, my browser, ah, I didn't want to do that. Wrong box. Uh, if I um, move in my browser, you can see that uh, this button appears. So when this website gets to a certain size, you can see that everything folds into a nice list. Now, how that works is that this button will only appear um, when it gets to when the browser gets to a certain size. So that's that button here. Um, but you'll notice that down here we've got some JavaScript. Now, in order to get this um, functionality working, the JavaScript needs to be in place at the bottom here. So please don't touch any of these elements here, otherwise that navigation bar won't work properly. Okay, so that explains what this is and what that button is. <coughs> so we don't need to, to touch that button at all. Um, and then we've got the main section with the, uh, let's fold that a little bit. We've got the main section here, um, which represent these elements here. So first of all, we've got this unordered list. So this unordered list represents everything here. 
Notice below the unordered list, you've got the form. So this form here represents this little search bar. So if I remove the form to the form uh, and then refresh this page, you can see it disappears because I don't want that at the moment. So if I were to type something here and refresh, you can see that that appears on the right hand side. So if you do want to place anything on that right hand side, you know it needs to be under the unordered list and before the div. So that would be important if you wanted to put anything that side. But we're going to just focus on this unordered list, which is it represents this here. So you notice that each element here is wrapped up in LIs. So everything has LI to LI, and that represents these things here. So if I were to take the first set of LIs and copy and paste, you will see that it just duplicates that. You'll notice that this is black and this is kind of gray. Now I'm going to just remove that home I just placed. Uh, you'll notice that that's the case. So here, um, why that is the case is because we've got this span element here. So if I remove this span element and refresh, excuse me. Um, Yep, <laughs> excuse me, I'm just going to remove that span a minute and then you'll notice that this li it says active. <coughs> so to get rid of this black thing, I remove that first part and then I'm going to remove this active element or this active class and you'll see that that then goes back to grey. So that's how to remove um, that bit there. Now, of course, if you're on the link page, you want the link to be black. So that's just a case of putting in the word active again on the uh, link element and then refresh and you can see it goes black. So that's just an indicator uh, to show you what page you're on if you wanted to use that facility. Okay, so you've got all these LIs. You notice that there's a drop down element here. So that represents this LI here and you can see all the different elements that are needed. You need the actual link and then there's a div set of divs um, and these are all the elements. So <coughs> If you wanted to add any more, <coughs> excuse me, elements here, um, I just copy and paste one of these A's and press A, and you can see now I've got an extra action. Of course, you might want not want it at all, in which case you need to just go from LI to LI, remove that, and you can see now it's disappeared. Now there is an option in Bootstrap to disable links, which is a bit strange. So you won't need to use this at all. So I can just get rid of that li to li and press save again. And there we go. I've got now I've got two links. So that's the uh, overview really of this navigation bar. Um, the only thing that you might want to do is obviously change the color. So Bootstrap comes with certain colors already built in. You can see here that it says nav bar light, nav bar, sorry, nav bar light and BG light. If I change this to BG dark, you'll find that everything will go dark. So it's just a dark version. Now we'll look later on at changing the colors of these, but at the moment we're just using the CSS that's already been defined in Bootstrap. Uh, so the, all these commands here, you'll find it all in the instructions. If you read through some of these documentations, uh, documentation, you'll find all this information. But what I've shown you is really the basics here um, of what you need to get that navigation in place.